Let's Talk, Let's Think. I'm your host, Carrie Braggs, and uh, it's been a minute since I've been in the studio, but uh, now it's the perfect time to get back on that horse, so to speak, and uh, get the ball rolling, especially at a, a crucial, critical time in life and history right now. I mean, uh, the things going on with the coronavirus, uh, these are things that have not been seen in our lifetime. Um, hasn't been documented uh, within the history of America. You know, we've had um, epidemics and pandemics before with health, with things like the um, smallpox and different diseases and things like that. So we have seen things like that. But uh, with how things are going with the coronavirus and um, it being just spread worldwide like that, um, I think this is a, a new one. Uh, so how it's spread and how everything in the world is so connected and shut down and so many industries are being shut down because of that uh, is just... Uh, it's just not a good look, not a good feel. And I, um, you know, God put it on my heart to go forth and uh, put out a video or video, should I say, of just trying to help people uh, get through this time uh, spiritually and uh, staying focused and encouraged. So, I'm going to be uh, just discussing some things here. Uh, now, as I said, we haven't seen anything on this level in America, but we have seen things like this throughout the Bible with uh, pestilence and famine and things like that. And so um, I'm going to kind of be discussing that with how things went with the plagues before uh, Pharaoh actually let uh, let God's people go and even how they dealt with things out in the wilderness and so some of the things I'm going to focus on is just letting people know right about now the number one thing we need to be doing is staying prayerful and stay focused on God uh, because when we look at these things there's not anything we can do to uh, change what is going on there's not. So we need to stay before God because uh, when we stay before God in prayer, uh, He gives us godly wisdom. Uh, he brings about a spirit of peace. And we know we are just covered by the Holy Spirit through our prayer and spending time in, uh, in His Word. So we first have to focus on our spiritual walk. Um, and then number two, we just have to um, stay calm and not worry about, you know, things we can't control. Once again, we can't control it. But we do need to limit our intake with what's going on with the situations. Uh, I feel that uh, we should check in a few times a day, just kind of getting updates and being educated on what's going on. So I would never tell anyone to just totally tune out. But what I am saying is just uh, view it enough to be educated and understand how to protect your family and how to avoid these situations and then, and then tune out. You know, just tune out, give yourself a break, give your mind a rest because it'll do nothing but uh, feed the fear. And that's what you want to avoid. You want to avoid feeding fear. We want to feed our faith. So we want to have faith over fear. So I'll say that again. We need to have faith over fear. So our faith needs to be stronger than our fears. Now, I'm not saying that right now is not a fearful time or stressful time. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is we can have it to a point to where it's manageable and we are able to just uh, be uh, being proactive instead of reactive. That's what we need to be focused on right about now. And uh, number three, I would just encourage you just to 
be safe. Just be wise and be safe with making sure, um, you know, where you're going and what you're doing. You're doing your best to be safe, to be washing your hands, to be sanitizing your hands, to just limit being out and about. Because uh, as uh, one of the doctors said a few days ago when I was watching one of the uh, broadcasts, he was saying that within uh, them trying to uh, keep it from spiking and trying to get it to level out, that it's going to take the public, it's going to take us doing our part not to just uh, just throw caution to the wind and just continue to do whatever, but it's going to take us uh, being focused, being uh, mindful of what's going on. And remember, it's not just about us, because I know uh, they've said that the uh, young people are not getting sick from it, but we don't know what's to come. And then also, even though they're not getting sick from it, they are uh, going to be carriers of it. And this will affect, you know, uh, older uh, family members. And so we want to be responsible and not just say, well, it's not affecting me, so I'm good. I can continue to do things. No, you want to just um, be mindful of what you're doing and just try to be uh, just try to be educated and smart with how you're doing things. You know, just uh, take care of the necessities. The only big necessity I see right now is uh, just trying to get food and, you know, as I say, hunker down. Meaning you just sit still at home and just uh, wait things out and, and just, you know, find something positive to do. I mean... This is an impromptu vacation for uh, many of us. Uh, I know a lot of people are going through uh, job loss and things like that right now. That's uh, why I started out saying we need to be prayerful and mindful of those things. And, you know, because we can't change them. I mean, uh, I work in the education field. Uh, my wife works with travel. So these are two uh, industries that have been hit severely within this so we just don't know how things are going to go but we are focused on God so at this point in time for the Christians this is our time to uh, stand up and let our light shine and be encouraged and seek to encourage our family and friends around us who may not be Christians who may not see the light at the end of the tunnel who uh, you know, don't have that hope in Christ, who uh, they don't have the Bible as uh, a comfort, you know, to, to read the words of Christ and his uh, insurances in these type of situations. So <clears throat> now is the, is the perfect time for us to make sure that we are standing strong and helping others do the same. So as I said uh, at the top of this video, I just wanted to throw a few things out there as I uh, continue to create videos that I'm going to talk about what happened in Egypt when they went through the plagues and when they were out in the desert without food and water to show as a parallel that, um, you know, that this has happened in, in the Bible and how God worked within these situations. So it's no different than what happened in Egypt than what's happening now. But this is one of those things to where God is uh, speaking right now. And we have to ask ourselves, are we listening? Because he's speaking loud and clear and he's trying to get our attention. So, but we need to humble ourselves and turn our hearts and minds to God and sit at his feet and gain an understanding and um, you know how to proceed and so I'm going to be doing those videos in the upcoming days but I just want to start off with this one with, with just uh, encouraging people to be prayerful um, you know don't um, spend too much time uh, watching what's going on you just get in you just get some information get some updates and then you just kind of back up so you are not overwhelmed with information and feeding your fear. You want to allow your faith to be over your fear. And then number three, 
Just be mindful of where you're going and what you're doing. Don't be out and about if you don't have to because not only are you putting yourself at risk, but you're putting uh, family members at risk as well. And so we want to limit that with us being out and about. As I said, the only essentials I see right now is um, having to go out and get food and others are still working. And so they have to brave uh, these situations to be able to continue to uh, take care of their family and, and purchase food. And so uh, we need to be uh, prayerful for them and prayerful for those who have lost their jobs. So uh, as Christ said, the Son of Man came to serve and not be served. And we are supposed to be Christ-like. So we are supposed to be servants as well. So right now, our heart and mind shouldn't be focused on ourselves. We should be focused on how we can help others because one thing I do know that when uh, I am focused on helping others and encouraging others and doing things like this with this video to try to, to help others see it in a better light and deal with it in a better manner, then to me, I, I'm feeding my faith because I truly believe that this is where we should be focused on God and not uh, feeding our fear. And so if I can help someone else in that situation, then I believe I've done my job. And so I encourage us all to do the same. Uh, just check in on family members and uh, just do whatever you can to keep them encouraged. Pray with them, direct them to uh, scriptures. Uh, you know, just anything we can do as the body of Christ to help others have that hope in this time of crisis. So, I pray that uh, this was helpful, and I encourage you to uh, tune in to the videos to come as I walk through uh, some of the plagues and how things went uh, with, um, with um, the Israelites in uh, Egypt when they were telling, when Moses was telling Pharaoh to let God's people go and all those things they went through and how God took care of them in the midst of those things and how it was no different than us. Because remember, when they finally, when Pharaoh finally let them go and they were out in the wilderness, they had left jobs and homes and everything. So they didn't have anything but that trust and belief in God that he would provide uh, food and shelter and protect them. And so I think that's very important for us to focus on those things and realize those things at this point in time. So that's my spiel to get this started and uh, hopefully encourage you at this time to be prayerful, be educated, and be safe. So please continue to tune in and see uh, what other encouragement um, God has put on my heart to bring forth in these coming days. And, um, and we'll just take it from there. So I'm Carrie Braggs and I'm signing off for Let's Talk, Let's Think.